the mobile financial services have taken the country by storm, recording a great success rate which almost doubles that of traditional banks. Last year alone, we had 242 million transactions on the mobile phone. And on top of that, the value of those transactions was $4.5 billion. That is 11.7 trillion Ugandan shillings. Based on this growth, the platform has brought on board more than just telecommunication companies, with now local innovative businesses making attempts to leverage on this big subscriber base. One of the players is Imara Mobile, which is a local SME planning to break the big telecoms dominancy of the sector through smart card based mobile transactions. Carry your card. Just carry your card. Once you have your card, this card is, will give you access to using the system. Yeah, this card helps you to be able to allow the transaction to be complete. Once you use this card, whatever you shall do, your mobile phone will be used to perform. Even with such developments, there are still concerns that the country's legal and regulatory framework is not moving at the same speed with the innovations. This has raised fear of the growing mobile commerce's susceptibility to fraud in view of the regulator's inadequacy to protect users.